Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's still me, your girl, Oni Udoye. So guys, from the title of this video, you already know what I'm about to talk about today. So I'm going to be showing you the processes on how to make your IMO, that is your indigenous microorganisms, okay? This IMO can be used for a whole lot of things, but especially for your no smell pig pen or your no smell pig house so in today's video if you watch this video to the end you will see the process and you see how to make it in the comfort of your home or your comfort of your farm okay so if you're yet to like this video please like this video okay it helps me to get you know more views and it also helps this video get to many people that needs it okay so like this video if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe and if you're new to this channel welcome thank you for stopping by i talk about animal farming especially pig and fish farming okay and if you're a returning subscriber i love you so much thank you for the support that you've been giving me so far you don't know how much i appreciate thank you so so much okay so, so guys let's get straight into this video and before we do that if you're yet to watch the previous video please make sure to do that okay this video is a continuation of the previous video so i would advise you watch it for better understanding so let me go straight into today's video without wasting much of your time so guys the first thing to do is to get rice okay so as you can see in the video this is rice cooked rice any rice is fine if you can use your local rice you can use your foreign rice any rice is fine so cook your rice then allow it to you know gets cold then put it in the sieve okay so here is about four cups of rice okay so the next thing to do is to get um two or three sheets of paper when you get it you sellotape it together like you sellotape sellotape it together that's what you're going to use to cover it okay so why i'm doing this is you need something to um, allow a little light to pass through that is why i'm using this paper to cover it okay and this is because you you need to have a little relationship between the forest floor and the rice itself to help with the formation of the microorganism so so that those forest floor microorganisms would act on the rice okay so that is just it so you just have to like um use this paper and cover it very well so you have to sellotape it very well okay so it be very well one so that sand will not enter and two so that it will be airtight okay so you have to sellotape it very very well so at this point it is very very okay okay so it is okay so the next thing to do is to dig the floor okay dig the ground to at least one foot now put that covered rice inside and use leaves to cover it okay after using leaves then you use sand to cover it up a bit okay i'm so sorry i couldn't show that on video i'm really sorry so after that then you just leave it you have to leave it for at least seven days okay So the next thing to do is to dig up the um, rice after seven days you have to dig it up to see if it has actually formed okay so finger crossed let's see what is going to happen so before that let me talk about what indigenous microorganism is okay this is a homemade micro mixture that foster rapid anaerobic digestion of waste to create and maintain a healthy deep bedding litter flooring leaving behind a fertilizer rich material while ensuring no smell of flies okay so in other words the microorganism in this um imo mixture help in breaking down and converting the focal matter that is the poo okay the poo rapidly into an unharmful product leaving you the farmer with a rich fertilizer material while ensuring an odorless environment that attracts no flies so i hope you understand that so let's see what is happening here so this white thing here is just a clear indication that the microorganisms formed okay so this is just it so if you're doing your own and you don't see it hmm, i don't know <laughs> so let's keep on digging let's just get the um rice out of the ground and let's just see how the inside formed and what you know let's just see how it is okay 
so before then as we are digging if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe like and also turn on your post notification bell and also share this video to your families and friends okay so if you need to consult me in your farm for your pig farming and also your fish farming i'm just a dm away please send me a dm on my facebook page at real only udoye i'll drop the link in the description box i also have tapolin ponds for sale if you need tapolin pond for sale i can supply so the to next you. thing to do you just have to gently remove the leaves and everything that is covering the top so you see why i told you guys then to make sure you cover the top very very well okay so if all these things get in you know it might spoil what you are doing so gently just remove it you gently remove it so that is just what's happening here and as you can see look at the microorganisms really formed well look at those white things Look at it. Look at it. It really, really formed very well. So if you see this, if your own is like this, just know you did a perfect job. Look at it. It's so nice. So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, turn on your post notification bell. And don't forget to reach me out if you really need anything. So we are still removing everything that is covering the top so we can see how the inside is but as you can see it really formed very well the microorganism formed like like it formed very 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 well okay so you have to carefully follow these steps to do this because if you don't follow it well <laughs> it might spoil you know it might spoil like it might spoil it might not get it right okay it's not really easy so you just have to follow it follow everything i've said to you or i'm going to say to you in this video very well okay so just gently remove everything you have to remove and that's it so we are done removing everything covering the top and this is just how it looks like this is just how it looks like okay so the next thing to do is just gently remove it from from the sieve gently remove it from the sieve just remove everything gently and while you're removing it don't be scared it's this is a healthy microorganisms okay so don't be scared it doesn't bite it doesn't do anything to the skin okay so i'm going to be weighing it and that is to get the quantity of brown sugar i'm going to be adding to it okay just to get the balance yeah to get the equilibrium okay so the next thing to do is just to add your brown sugar that's after you weigh it if for example it's weighing two kg you add two kg of brown sugar okay so that is how you're going to know the quantity of brown sugar you're going to be adding to it so here I'm adding brown sugar. Yeah, just get a good brown sugar and add. Uh, brown sugar is brown sugar, yeah? So just get good brown sugar and add, okay? So once you do that, this is the first one I'm adding. So after doing it, you have to just turn it, okay? You have to turn it and turn it very, very well. So keep on adding the sugar until you get a balance, okay? Just keep on adding it until you get a, a balance. Remember I said you have to weigh the IMO to get the exact quantity of the sugar to put in. For example, 2 kg to 2 kg of brown sugar, okay? So one of the roles of this brown sugar on the IMO is it helps to make the multiplication process quick, okay? It helps to make the multiplication process quick, okay? So, may, so make sure to mix in the sugar very well and um, turn it very 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 well don't leave anything unturned okay so turn it very very well so this is what it will look like after you have finished mixing that is if you mix it in properly okay so this is how it will look like and this is what it will look like okay so the next thing to do is you just have to cover it up since you're done mixing after mixing it properly okay so cover it up and leave it in a dark place for seven days So after seven days, bring it out and look at it and you see that it is ready for use. As you can see in the video, it is ready, ready for use. Okay. So this is the look of it after seven days. Okay. So when you look at it, you will notice it is dark brown in color compared to the way you left it initially. Okay. Look at it. It's darker. It's darker in color. So that is how you will know it is ready, ready for use. Okay? So the next thing to do is, is to mix with water before applying 
in the pig pen okay so here is water here is about 10 liters of water and um this is the imo okay the imo that is already ready okay so you have to like get the measurement and the measurement is one tablespoon to 10 liters of water one tablespoon to 10 liters of water but in this video i use two teaspoon to 10 liters of water okay so that is how you do it you put it inside the water and after putting it inside the water you then mix it thoroughly okay you mix it in thoroughly okay so this is how it is um done this is how it is done so the next thing to do after mixing is to get your pump sprayer okay so that is a pump sprayer and that white thing here is the filter so get your pump sprayer and turn in the mixture into the pump sprayer so this pump sprayer is highly needed in this process okay so make sure to get one it will help to spray the imo across the entire pen okay so make sure to turn in the mixture through the filter this would help filter out some particles some particles so it doesn't block the mouth of the pump sprayer okay so now it is ready to use as you can see just have to pump it when you're done pump it and you know spray it across the pen so now it's ready to use after filling it you can now proceed to spray it inside the pig pen okay so this is how you use it okay when you put it when you enter the pen this is how to spray it across the pig pen okay so if this is your first time um stopping by to this channel thank you for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notification bell like this video because it is important to me okay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i love you i appreciate i thank you for the support and for everything okay please don't forget to like this video and share these videos to your family family and friends okay and if you need my services on anything at all don't forget to reach me out on on my facebook page real only udoye okay don't forget to reach me if you need me to con if you just need to consult me on anything at all pig farming um um fish farming and anything at all don't forget to reach me out okay and if you want to buy tapolin pond i have tapolin pond for sale i have you know a whole lot of tapolin pond quality tapolin pond for sale okay so don't forget to reach me up on my facebook page okay so this is going to be the end of this um video i'm sure by now you know how to make your imo and you know you don't need to buy it in the market and all of that i'm sure by now you know how to make it okay so if you if you really found this video helpful don't forget to share and invite people to like this video okay Thank you so much for watching this video to, to this point. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You gotta focus on yourself.